Ladies and gentlemen in the audience, will you please rise for the presentation of the colors by our own ROTC and Star Spangled Banner performed by the Cougar Band. Good evening, everyone. On behalf of Garden City High School Associate Principals, Mr. Steve Herman and Mr. Parker Salowich, the entire staff at Garden City High School, Superintendent of Schools, Mr. Derek Fisher, and the Garden City Schools Board of Education, it is an honor to welcome all of you to the commencement ceremony for Garden City High School's class of 2016. High school commencements can be as ironic as their name. It means a beginning, but is also symbolic with the end of young adulthood. It is the beginning of new roads for all of our graduates to travel, whether they be in the direction of a career or college. It is the end of what they have known for 13 years of their lives. I like to think of commencement, or graduation if you will, as the beginning of anything you want. This evening, we will honor the entire graduating class of 2016 by awarding them their high school diploma. They are, in turn, honored to have all of you here celebrating this momentous occasion with them. As we begin our program filled with rich tradition, I have but two requests. First, I ask that you refrain from celebrating over the names of other students who are graduating alongside those you came to see. This way, everyone can enjoy the memorable sound of the graduate they came to honor. And last, I ask that you not enter onto the track and field area until after the graduates have completed the recessional at the end of the program. At this time, I would like to introduce you to those dedicated individuals who have assisted Garden City High School in support of these graduates. Please hold your applause until all board members' names have been read. Board of Education President, Mrs. Darlene Jablonowski. Vice President, Mrs. Sarah Raffi. Secretary, Dr. Patrick McNally. Treasurer, 
Mr. John Thackerberry, Trustee Ms. Lynette Childress, Trustee Mrs. Jennifer Vandewater, and Trustee Mrs. Linda Williams. Now I would like to recognize and call attention to the teaching staff of Garden City High School. Throughout our graduates high school experience, these teachers have constantly focused on making sure your children receive the quality education that they deserve and require to be successful in today's society. As principal, I am honored to work alongside such a phenomenal and dedicated staff. Each day, the high school administrative team draws inspiration and a renewed sense of commitment by the example that our Garden City teachers set. Let it be known that the entire Garden City High School staff remain unyielding in their commitment to deliver a quality education to our young people, no matter what the obstacle. As a community, we can take pride and stand tall knowing that our instructional staff is made up of extremely hardworking professionals who focus on promoting academic excellence and helping students succeed. Will the teaching staff of Garden City High School please stand and be recognized? Also joining this, is, this evening are special teachers and coaches representing many aspects of our graduates' lives. These individuals who have been invited by our graduates are here tonight because they have had a tremendous influence on our young people. It is a long-standing tradition for our graduates to honor these individuals for their service and commitment. Will the K-12 educators and coaches who have been specially invited here tonight please stand and be recognized. In addition, I would like to introduce the staff members who are here representing Central Office Administration. These administrators and directors support our staff and students by serving in the various departments and capacities that are necessary to deliver quality education opportunities for our students. Would the following individuals please stand? Associate Superintendent, Mr. Brian Sumner. Director of Business and Finance, Mr. Drew McMeekin. Director of Instructional Services, Mr. Alex McNeese. Director of Student Services, Ms. Rosemary Gross. A very special thanks to our entire buildings and ground staff for their amazing efforts and continued assistance in helping us coordinate, prepare, and facilitate this evening's ceremony. Without you gentlemen, this place could never look this good. Quickly before we get to our speakers, I would like to recognize a few graduates that went unnoticed this week for their accomplishments. If you could stand if you hear your name called. Mr. James Falk. Outstanding effort in AP Calculus. Mr. John McBain. Graduating cum laude this evening. Miss Brandy Hanover, perfect attendance for four years, including this evening. So let's get down to business. Time and time again, the school district and community are honored to take great pride in having a past graduate return to deliver a special congratulatory message. This year, we continue that proud tradition by publicly recognizing one of the district's many successful past graduates. However, we're gonna do it with a small twist this evening. Here to introduce our congratulatory speaker is none other than his brother, who just so happens to be the person who nominated the speaker for consideration, and who also just ha so happens to be a graduate of Garden City High School, as well as a long-standing member of our teaching staff, Mr. Mark Crampton. Dear parents and graduates, I'm honored to be here. I'd like to introduce your 2016 commencement speaker because I know him fairly well. 
And I also like to give you some past history of his connection with Garden City. First of all, Kevin, he's a southerner. He was born in a military hospital to Nathan Elizabeth at Fort Belvoir, Virginia in 1959. That makes him an elderly gentleman. <laughs> After the father's discharge from the Army, they moved north to the state of Michigan, the Big D, that is Detroit where they added three more siblings to the family, four boys in total. Kevin has told me many times that if you really get to know his brothers, me being one of them, you understand why his mother's going to be put up for sainthood one of these days. <laughs> now, right about 40 years ago, his family moved to, from the big city of Detroit to the suburbs of Garden City. Now, Garden City at the time was much different. We had two high schools, four junior highs, eight elementary schools. So you understand that it was a big culture change for Kevin. He had to transition. He used to listen to the smooth sounds of Motown, such as Diana Ross, The Temptations, The Four Tops, Stevie Wonder, to the rock and roll Garden City, Bob Seger, Errol Smith, and Kiss. Now, if you guys don't know those, you can look those up later. Kevin and his family found a home in Garden City. He attended Garden City West. As all of you know, West was the best school, or the best high school. I was waiting for that. There's some East grads here. Kevin was involved in many activities. He played basketball at West. He even had a 35-point game in high school. And now, when we get together, he says, you know what? If they had a three-point line, I probably could have had 60. Now, I was at that game. And unless that three-point line was a five-foot arc, I think 60 points is a stretch. <laughs> now, graduates, how many of you have had Mrs. Brammer as a teacher? Oh, there you go. Guess who else had Mrs. Brammer as a teacher? <laughs> yes, your commencement speaker, Kevin Crampton, did. I won't give it any more, you know, I won't embarrass Mary more than that, other than the story she told me that she was so impressed with Kevin as a student that later on when she had one of her ch children of her own, boy, she named him Kevin. Now that's the story she told me. She may have been trying to be nice. Maybe she couldn't figure out any other's names. But that was, you know, one of the first stories that, you know, this guy is pretty special. Obviously, he's made some significant impact on some people. Now, Kevin made many friends at Garden City West. One particular friend, Faye Morris, caught his eye as a senior. And on June 20th this year, Kevin and Faye will have been married for 35 years. A true Garden City love story. Yeah, you can clap for that. That's nice. After high school, Kevin moved on to East Lansing for the great green and white of Michigan State University. Now, the real kicker is his older, uh, his older children, Nathan, Jack, and Claire, are all Michigan grads. He has one younger daughter. Maybe she can, uh, maybe she can turn it to the Michigan State side again. At Michigan State, he earned a bachelor's and master's degree in business administration. Kevin is also an alumnus of the London Business School Executive Management Program. Kevin has also extensive international business experience, including assignments in Asia and the European region. Now to get on to the next part here. He also worked in various management positions during a 20-year career at Ford Motor Company in manufacturing, marketing, sales and service, distribution, product development, and financial service operations. He served as Director of Corporate Business Development with Global Responsibilities for Ford's merger and acquisition activities. He was busy at that time. Kevin has been a four-time Chief Executive Officer, or CEO, for the Board of Niles, Revstone Industries, Cardone Industries, and Atlantic's Global Systems. Kevin is currently an operating partner at HCI Equity Partners, a private equity company firm headquartered in Washington, D.C. From his humble beginnings of a Garden City student to an international businessman of mystery, Kevin has been an inspiration and role model for many, including myself. 
as he always let me know, you always try and make yourself a little bit better each day. And for those who had me in class, I try to relate. You always want to make yourself a little bit better each day. And so now I'd like to introduce your 2016 Garden City High School commencement speaker, Kevin Gerard Crampton, and my brother. Well, I, uh, I don't know if I want to speak now. I'll just go take uh, my, uh, uh, my Coke and uh, sit down and watch this. But uh, good evening. It's really an honor to be here tonight. Uh, I don't uh, get back to Garden City as much as I used to. I, we presently live in Philadelphia, and I work in, uh, in the capital, Washington, D.C., about a block from the White House. So whenever you... Uh, see the activity where they're shutting down the White House, uh, that means that I can't move around too well. So, uh, But I'd like to uh, thank Superintendent Fisher and uh, Principal Kohler for extending me the honor to, to come home uh, to Garden City and share a few thoughts with you today. Uh, I'd also like to thank the faculty and staff, uh, including Mrs. Brammer, as you heard from uh, my brother, uh, she was uh, very encouraging to me uh, those many years ago that, again, he uh, mentioned how long ago that was. So uh, for a guy my age to be even remember that far, I guess that's pretty good. I'd also like to thank my family and friends. Uh, my mother, B is here. Uh, she raised four boys, all Garden City High School and college graduates. Uh, uh, what a great lady and who helped to mold us into uh, what we are today. My brothers, uh, Mark, and uh, who's, as you know, is a longtime teacher here, and also my brother David, who was, uh, who was a wind-up teacher along with uh, their families. Uh, my lovely wife that you heard of is here, a Garden City graduate, uh, mother of four, and she is truly the love of my life. And my children, Jack, are here, and also my youngest, Rose, uh, who was born in, uh, on our uh, stay in London. I'd also like to congratulate all of you graduates and on your accomplishments. Today you begin a journey, one that will last a lifetime. This evening I'd like to talk to you about that journey and some keys to pursuing the American dream. Some say the American dream is not attainable for your generation that you're not going to have the same opportunities your parents and grandparents had. I do not believe that is true, but just the opposite. The key is to be prepared for the pursuit. You learned in your American history class that the Declaration of Independence speaks of the unalienable rights of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. This is the meaning of the American dream. In my life, I've had an opportunity to either work, live, or visit about 50 countries around the world, all of them with interesting people, unique cultures, and great attributes. But absolutely none provide opportunities like America, especially for individuals from working class backgrounds to raise themselves out of humble beginnings through hard work, perseverance, and grit to achieve their dreams. Now the bad news. There is no easy button to push. The decisions you make, the paths you take, will determine your success of your journey. Like you, I started my journey here in Garden City as a high school graduate from a working class family with limited means, but with a desire to pursue the American dream. I've been blessed with great opportunities along with a loving family, friends, mentors, colleagues that have helped me along the way. Now some say that the world has changed greatly in the last several decades. That's true. But in some ways, things are the same. For example, all those years ago, as Mark mentioned, when I was in high school, Star Wars was the top movie at the theater. Yeah. And this past year, Star Wars again was the top movie. 
Also back then, uh, Sylvester Stallone was nominated for an Academy Award for playing Rocky Balboa, the Philly-born fighter. Oh, uh, that happened again this year. <laughs> I guess some things do stay the same. Since I've been living in Philadelphia the last few years, I've had an opportunity to run up those steps like Rocky, visit Independence Hall where the Declaration of Independence was signed, see the crack in the Liberty Bell, and walk through Valley Forge where General George Washington held together the ragtag colonial army which ended in one of the greatest military upsets of all time, defeat of the mighty British Empire, providing the groundwork for a new nation to begin striving for that attainment of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Now, any pursuit requires a plan, along with hard work over a period of time, to achieve the desired results. I'd like to share some lessons from my journey and some potential keys you might want to consider as you enter the next chapter of your life. First lesson, personal relationships are critical to your success. Your ability to effectively interact with others, both personally and professionally, will be important to developing the friendships and mentoring relationships that are key to achieving your dreams, because no one does it alone. The most important relationship decision is choosing a good partner to share your jersey. Life can be challenging and having a great partner to take on the world is most helpful. In this regard, I've been blessed with my wife and partner, Faye. Our journey, as Mark mentioned, started here in, as high school sweethearts and is going strong all those decades later. Strong partnerships and personal relationships are the building blocks to a meaningful life and the pursuit of happiness. A true partnership requires teamwork, trust, and ongoing effort to be successful, which are key attributes to navigating your way through life. The next lesson is around the challenges of determining what path to pursue regarding your vocation or career, which is important given you'll be working for most of the rest of your life. To make sure your future decades are enjoyable, I suggest you first determine what you enjoy and are very good at when choosing a vocation or career. Doing this right will save you a lot of time and money. Some people say, do what you love, but this is too simplistic and may read you down the wrong path. For example, I love basketball. As Mark mentioned, I played here in Garden City and even scored those 35 points. And as he said, as time goes by, that's become legendary. And uh, I believe he thinks it's more of a fantasy. But in reality, I was not even the same universe as those playing professionally tonight. So even though I loved basketball, it was not a viable career option. This is an example to make a point, that loving or enjoying something is not the only criterion choosing a career path. Therefore, it becomes critical to match what you enjoy with what you're good at professionally. After you've assessed your skills and potential career matches, you need to determine if that is the field you enjoy. This is an area where a lot falls short. It's always difficult to determine if you'll enjoy something without seeing it or trying it first. Some ways to accomplish this earlier in your decision process are to talk to people that work in your area of interest, look for potential mentors, see if you can shadow them at work, volunteer, or try part-time jobs or internship opportunities to see how people operate in the real world. It's almost like getting a test drive for a car before you buy it. The next key lesson is to take smart risks. Smart risks are pursuing opportunities that have a risk of failure coming up short, but are good learning experiences, stretch you either professionally or personally, and may provide a stepping stone to further advancement or development. Examples could include taking a hard assignment that no one else wants, taking a course that develops a new skill, or 
learning a foreign language or moving to another place or joining a new group. For me, I had jobs in several countries, took on assignments that no one else wanted, had to learn a foreign language as an adult, and needed to use it to communicate, including having to give presentations in French. For example, a fr in French, a greeting would sound something like this. Bonne soirée, les étudiants, ses amis. J'aime la ville de Jardin, which means in English, good evening, students and friends. I love Garden City. <laughs> to be successful in pursuing the American dream will require you to get out of your comfort zone. It is hard, it does not come naturally, and you need to make a conscious decision to do it. But if you do this, it will position yourself for a wider range of opportunities in the, per in the future. The last key lesson that I'd like to talk about today is to choose to be an active participant in all facets of life, fully engaged in the world around you. I believe this is your generation's greatest challenge. The advent of the internet, gaming, social media, and virtual reality provides the temptation to become a spectator in life, distanced from real relationships, with the risk of being disconnected and distracted as the world around you passes you by. Although this challenge is greater today, it has always been an issue and may be the primary reason that people do not reach their potential and fail to achieve their dreams. About 100 years ago, President Theodore Roosevelt gave a commencement address much like this one. If you don't recall Teddy Roosevelt from your American history class, you might remember him from the Night at the Museum movies where he was the guy with the hat on the, and the sword on the horse who had the crush on Pocahontas, played by Robin Williams. Well, to finish tonight, I'd like to quote a few lines from his speech entitled Person in the Arena. When we talk about the arena, you may think of the gladiators in the Roman Colosseum or Muhammad Ali in the boxing ring. But in reality, we are all in the arena of life, competing and striving to achieve our dreams. Teddy Roosevelt talks about the choice we all make to either be in the arena as an active participant in life or to go through life as a spectator. President Roosevelt said the following words that are just as true today as 100 years ago. He said, it is not the critic who counts, not the person who points out how the strong man stumbles or where the doer of deeds could have done them better. The credit belongs to the person who is actually in the arena, whose face is marred by dust and sweat and blood, who strives valiantly, who errs, who comes up short again and again, because there is no effort without error and shortcoming, but who does actually strive to do the deeds, who knows great enthusiasm, the great devotions, who spends themselves in a worthy cause, who at the best in the end knows the triumph of high achievement, and who at worst, if they fail, at least fails while daring greatly, so that their place shall never be with those cold and timid souls who neither know victory nor defeat. My hope and prayer for each of you is that you get in the arena, choose to be a participant and not a spectator in life, make the right decisions on relationships and career choices, take smart risks, and pursue the American dream to your full potential. Thank you for your attention, and I wish you all the best in your journey ahead.
Thank you again, Mr. Crampton and Mr. Crampton. Our salutatorian for the class of 2016 is Mr. Justin Doe. Justin, having aced all of his classes, including three college preparatory, better known as AP classes, is graduating summa cum laude with a 4.1 grade point average. This past Wednesday, we had the honor of congratulating Justin on receiving department awards in math, science, and social studies, as well as being amongst a distinguished group of students graduating Phi Beta Kappa. Academics aside, he was a three-year varsity athlete in swimming, earning the scholar athlete all three years. Justin, who has received the Oakland University Distinguished Scholar Award and the Oakland University Trustee Academic Success Scholarship, has chosen to head a few miles west instead to the University of Michigan Ann Arbor in the fall. Sorry, Cramptons. <laughs> where he received a grant from the University of Michigan. His goal is to become a dentist or orthodontist, but clearly his smile does not need any work. Justin is a well-rounded young man with many attributes, and it is my honor to introduce the class of 2016 salutatorian, Mr. Justin Doe. Welcome fellow graduates of the class of 2016, teachers, family, faculty, friends, friends of family, family of friends of family, friends of faculty, friends of family of faculty, family of friends of family, and everyone else who decided to come and witness this historic day. I want to thank everyone in attendance today, as this is a monumental moment in our lives. You have all had a profound impact on the development of the students graduating today, and speaking on behalf of the class of 2016, I am thanking all of you for making this special day a reality for all of us. The students you see on the field today will start a new chapter in their lives and embark on a lifelong journey filled with new challenges, experiences, friendships, and milestones. It seemed like yesterday we were all freshmen roaming the halls of Garden City High School without the slightest idea of what we want to do when it comes to picking classes, deciding what to eat for lunch, and choosing which activities to pursue. All of the struggles, laughs, memories, long nights, and rushed mornings which have constituted the last four years have all come down to this very day. We have shared so many common experiences in and out of the classroom, and after all these years of growing up together, our lives have become intertwined. We are not just a group of students who attend classes together, but we are a family as well. We began high school as children, and we are leaving as young adults. The completion of high school serves as a platform to launch us into bigger and brighter futures. We will all go down different paths after today, whether it be going to college, trade school, the armed forces, or straight into the workforce. Success is not defined by the destination, but rather the ability of one to take advantage of the opportunities presented to them. It doesn't matter if you're going to Harvard or Schoolcraft. What truly matters is what you make of your experiences wherever you may end up. You all have the ability to do great things if you put your minds to it and keep pressing on in the midst of adversity. As long as it is kept in mind, the future will hold promising rewards as a result of your hard work. No matter what we go or what we do, there are challenges ahead of us. What I'm asking for each of you on the field to do is to meet those challenges head on and tackle them. It's not enough to simply try to get by in life. However, you must try to put forth maximum effort in everything you do and strive for excellence in every task, no matter how small or big it may be. Throughout my years of high school, not only have I broadened my intellect through the various courses I've taken here, I have also developed the social skills needed to thrive in the real world. This school has instilled in me a desire to succeed and have the correct mindset. If you truly believe you can do anything while ignoring others who may say otherwise, what you are able to achieve in the long run will be truly amazing. I would like to conclude my speech with a quote from F. Scott Fitzgerald's The Great Gatsby. Gatsby believed in the green light, the orgasmic future that year by year recedes before us. It eluded us then, but that's no matter. Tomorrow we will run faster, stretch out our arms farther, and then one fine morning, so we beat on, close against the current, borne back ceaselessly into the past. 
As one chapter of our lives ends and another one begins, we need to remember the struggles and times of adversity we've endured and what we did to conquer them. The obstacles we may encounter throughout the course of our lives may hold us back, but we are able to get past said obstacles and achieve our goals. Our successes in the future will inevitably cause us to look back into the past and see where we came from. Thank you. Thank you, Justin. Our valedictorian for the class of 2016 is Miss Mackenzie Warwick. <laughs> Having taken all of our AP classes that we offer, AP Government, AP English, AP Chemistry, and AP Calculus, Mackenzie is graduating summa cum laude with a 4.113 grade point average. Aside from being a member of our distinguished Phi Beta Kappa recipient, she also received a department award in English both her senior and junior year. Mackenzie was voted in the top 10 of her class by the staff her freshman, sophomore, and junior years. In addition, junior year brought her the Bosch and Lom Science Award. This young lady also has the privilege of being an observer in eccentric newspapers academic all-star as well as the WXYZ Best and Brightest Award winner for Garden City High School. Extracurricular activities proved just as awarding in both athletics and service. She was on the swim team for four years, leading the team as the captain her senior year. When she wasn't swimming, she was busy earning two varsity track letters. For these efforts, she was awarded a four-year scholar athlete and received a Western Wayne Athletic Conference Academic Achievement Plaque. Mackenzie also found time in her busy schedule to be the president of NHS and Japanese NHS, having served both clubs for four years. And if her resume wasn't impressive enough, she was also a four-year DECA state qualifier and four-year National Society of High School Scholars Ambassador. Truly, it is evident why she is where she is sitting today. I do not think I overstep my bounds when I say that announcing her as the class valedictorian will be a lifelong dream come true for her. I would like to congratulate her for reaching for the moon and grabbing hold of it with both arms. In September, the University of Michigan is where she will reach her next set of goals, majoring in nuclear engineering with a minor in Japanese. It is with great pride that I introduce to you the 2016 Garden City High School valedictorian, Mackenzie Warwick. Good evening parents, relatives, friends, significant others, alumni, teachers, and especially seniors. It is an honor to be standing up here tonight. First, I need to thank everyone who has supported me throughout this endeavor, especially my mom, dad, and sister. I'm also very thankful to have the support from my boyfriend, Rob, my best friends, my Panera family, and my swim team family. Thank you especially to Mr. Penske, Ms. Bills and Ms. Brammer for pushing me to be the best student I could be. I would not be standing here tonight without all of you. When I walked in on the first day of school, I had a goal set to be valedictorian and I did everything I could to get here. I have worked incredibly hard the past four years and so have many others. I would like to extend a thank you to all of you for providing the challenges that pushed me to achieve my goal. High school has taught me a few things. It has taught me that I can cram six calc assignments in the night before they are due. I can procrastinate and do two weeks of work in two days to do as much as I can manage, to cherish my true friends, to enjoy the last moments of being a kid, that time management is key, to always accept help and failure, to bounce back from what life throws at me, and to make every moment worth it. But most importantly, high school has taught me that we are more than the cliche high school labels acquired over the past four years. If you thought that high school is the big picture, you are sadly mistaken. It is only a piece of the unfinished puzzle of life. There are millions of opportunities to be the best you can be out there. Go take one up and perfect yourself. Good things do not come to those who wait. Good things come to those who get out there and grab it. So go out there and find something you are passionate about. 
and do it with everything you have because nothing is more important than doing something you love. Always remember to keep an open mind. You'll never know what you might end up liking. The roads that lie ahead of us are uncertain and we're finally able to do what we want. Some of us are going far away and some are never leaving home. And some have no idea what they want to do and some have planned their futures out. But one thing is for certain, we are the only class of 2016 at GCHS. Now let's go out and show the world who we are. Thank you, Mackenzie. The class president of 2016 is Mr. Daniel Quinn. During his high school tenure, Daniel has focused on academics as well as extracurricular activities and is no slacker in the academic area, graduating summa cum laude with a 3.98 GPA, taking advanced placement government, advanced placement English, advanced placement chemistry, and advanced placement calculus. Continuing with the trend of our student speakers this evening, he is also in the group of elite students awarded Phi Beta Kappa. Dan, or DQ as many like to call him, was on student council all four years of high school and was voted on by his peers to lead them as seniors as their class president. He also played varsity football for two years where he received an academic all-state honorable mention. In the winter, he joined in on the camaraderie of Mr. GC and came out a winner. Dan's future is bright and he is headed to Lansing, Cramptons, there you go, in the fall to attend Michigan State University for mechanical engineering. Dan was committed to making your senior year a memorable one, full of special events and new opportunities, including a successful inaugural dodgeball tournament. I think his job here is done, and I am proud to present you this year's class president, Mr. Daniel Quinn. All right. All right. I just want to start off by saying how great it is to be here on the field on a Friday night one last time. And of course, just like always, I'm stuck over here on the sideline. Uh, the past four years have probably been the greatest of my life so far. In that time, I've transitioned from the chubby little outcast to the obnoxious narcissistic stud you see here on stage today. I know that all to you and to this school. The time I've spent here at Garden City High School has provided me with some unforgettable memories. From releasing my musical talents at Mr. GC, to playing football with some of the greatest people I will ever know. And how could I forget my awkward flailing of limbs that was apparently considered dancing at prom last Sunday? And most importantly, there was getting to know all of you at high school. While whatever, or whatever event I attended during the past four years seemed to be fun, it was always you guys, you guys that made it great. Boring float building sessions were changed into exciting social gatherings. Cheering for our friends at pep assemblies became shouting matches to prove we had more school spirit than anyone else. And I may have even left a few two-a-days two with a grin from ear to ear, knowing that I'd be cracking jokes and smashing skulls for my friends the next day. I hope when I look back at my high school experience in the future, I remember the amazing people that made these past four years great, and those that helped me develop into the person I am today. Before I finish, I want to thank all my coaches and teammates from the past four years, especially Evan Breen and Jacob Gass, who I no longer consider friends or teammates, but brothers. Also, thank you to all the teachers that helped me grow and learn, particularly Miss Bills, I'd also like to thank all my friends, namely the nerds, which consists of Alex Alvarez, Tim Tapper, Hannah DeHater, Michaela Smoller, Brendan Thurjung, Gina Savastano, Austin New, and Hunter Damon. I couldn't have asked for a better group of friends. And lastly, I'd like to thank my sister Rachel, my mother, ah, yeah, my mother Sally, and my father James for always helping me to reach my goals and push me farther than I thought I can go. So remember a quote by Vince Lombardi, perfection is not attainable, but if we chase perfection, we can catch excellence. Congratulations, class of 2016, and go Cougars. Thank you, Dan. At this time, I would like to thank three staff members who have devoted an enormous amount of their time and energy to support, inspire, and encourage the class of 2016. Our senior sponsors, Ms. Kelly Mendez, Ms. Daniel Matora Morano, sitting in the front row, who's not going to stand up. 
There you go. And Mr. Keith Penske, who's sitting next to her. They have worked very hard this whole year to make sure that this evening celebration would be possible. They have the thanks of the entire Garden City High School staff for this labor of love. Speaking for the senior sponsors this evening is a colleague who I am lucky also to be able to describe as a good friend of mine, Ms. Kelly Mendez. Each year I have the honor of congratulating all of our graduates on behalf of the senior sponsors, Ms. Matora, Mr. Penske, and myself. We are all graduates of Garden City and know what it feels like to sit in these chairs on this special night. We are very proud of all of you and the hard work you have done. Though only you can fulfill the requirements needed to receive your diploma, behind your accomplishments there were many people supporting you along the way. Teachers, principals, friends, family, grandparents, and parents. They have all played an active role in creating the graduates you are today and the adults you will become tomorrow. I would like to take a moment to ask all the parents or guardians of the graduates to please stand and be recognized. Parents, because of your love and support, they sit here tonight celebrating the last 13 years of their academic careers. Graduates, we hope you look back fondly on your high school years. The highlight, we hope, was your senior year. We do this job because we had such an awesome high school experience ourselves, and we wanted to help make your senior year one that you would remember for years to come. Congratulations, class of 2016. All right, this is the last speech before the good stuff. This year has brought many new things to Garden City Schools, including our new superintendent. I had the utmost privilege of working for him here at the high school for five years, and our graduates are probably more familiar with calling him principal than superintendent. He is passionate about our students, staff, district, and city. He is an excellent advocate for education, and I do believe he cares for Garden City Schools as much as he does his own family. Please help me welcome our superintendent, Mr. Derek Fisher. Thank you, Ms. Kohler. Uh, a couple things I will let you know is my, uh, this is my first graduation as superintendent, so I did dial down the customary six-page speech to one page. Uh, that being said, before I begin, I would like to offer another thanks to our Buildings and Grounds crew, especially uh, uh, Dave Coletta. Uh, the field and the uh, facilities look wonderful tonight, and he has my thanks. How about a round of applause for Mr. Dave Coletta? <laughs> also, as a school official, I am painfully aware of the um, separation of church and state and everything that goes with that. But I would like us to give a collective, uh, non-denominational, non-religious thanks to this wonderful and cooperative weather. This is a beautiful evening, so we give thanks for that. To our 2016 graduates, congratulations. We've heard this before. Parents, friends, and family members, please join me in a round of applause for our graduates. These young people, these very fine young people, gathered on the field before us, you represent our collective future. You represent both our hopes and dreams. In the days to come, you will be taking that leap into early adulthood, and you will be pursuing educational, vocational, or military endeavors. As a school district, we realize that none of this would have been possible without the support of parents and guardians who have been there for our graduates through thick and thin, through ups and downs, through tears, and through laughter. 
to every parent, step parent, and guardian know that you have our undying gratitude and our thanks. Education is a multifaceted journey, and the challenges that come with it truly take the support of a village. And we all know that Garden City is a great village full of proud and strong people who want nothing but the very best for their kids. To our graduating class, know that your teachers, both past and present, and your principals, past and present, are all very proud of you. Graduates, I know that right now, many of you, most of you, okay, all of you, are waiting for us to wrap these speeches up <laughs> so that you can run across this field and, of course, get your party started. That time is almost here. But first, I want to leave you with just a few things to consider, and I promise to make it brief. As you take the next step, no matter what that step may be, realize that there is absolutely no substitute for hard work. If you are the smartest kid in class, continue to work hard. And if you're not the smartest kid, continue as you always have and work hard. Definitely don't be the person who thinks they can get by without doing their best. Don't be that person, whether at work or in the classroom, is too busy playing Angry Birds online rather than committing themselves to their duties. Take time to look at the world around you. We live in a world full of posts, blogs, tweets, chirps, bumps, and likes. Don't let tweeting or Facebooking about an event keep you from actually experiencing something great. Take time to help somebody less fortunate out. Many of you, through either service organizations or your involvement in athletics, have taken time to participate in volunteerism. As you go forward and start your adult lives, I encourage each of you to look for ways, even small ways, to help someone else out. Perhaps you can tutor, maybe you can volunteer, and of course, you can always hold a door or lend a helping hand when you see another in need. Always remember where you came from because that is part of life's great journey. I, endeavor, or I ask you to remember your good times here at Garden City High School. I know many of you will remember taking swim class with Miss J. Remember sitting through stats with Mr. Herman when he was in the classroom. Remember having to report to the gym for ACTs, which have now switched to SATs. But above all, I want you to remember the friends and connections you have made here in your hometown because they will be with you for a lifetime. As a school district and as a community, know that you have many people supporting you and wishing you nothing but the best. As superintendent, I wish you good luck and all the success in the world. Congratulations to the class of 2016. All right, we're gonna let the good stuff happen now. Mr. Fisher. Board of Education members, the students seated before you this evening have completed all of the requirements set forth by the State of Michigan and the Garden City Board of Education for the granting of a Garden City High School Diploma. By meeting all of the requirements, these graduates have earned all of the rights and privileges that are commensurate with the granting of their diploma. I now present you the graduating class of 2016. Ms. Kohler, recognizing that these graduates have met the requirements set forth by the Michigan Department of Education's Michigan Merit Curriculum and have met the requirements approved by the Garden City Schools Board of Education, I proudly accept this graduating class of 2016. Congratulations. Justin Coy Doe. Mackenzie Marion Warwick. Daniel James Quinn.
Shelby Ann Bodnovitz. Brendan William Thuryung. Kaylin Nicole Glenfield. Connor Matthew Gibbons. Kaylin May Sparks. Timothy James Tapper. Brittany Gentry. Jordan Alexander Grosnickel. Sammy Ann Schaefer. Nicholas Edward Tilly. Elizabeth Ann Hinkle. Tristan Allen Horton. Margaret Ann Duval. Spencer Wayne Williams. Carly Michelle White. Brendan James Nagel. Taylor Paulette Paget. Zachary James McCollum. Angelica Maria Gonzalez. Islam Yusef Yagub. Alyssa May Burden. Matthew Craig Gorley. Amanda Bales. Mackie Arab. Raven Alexis Marie Holdman. <laughs> Alex Alvarez. Laura McGarry. William Gage. India Henry Rogers. Oliver Walsh. Phoenix Lee Jacobson. Spencer Gettert. Michaela Nicole Eiler. Caleb Brand. Edith Varela.
Nathaniel Wilson. Jamie Rose Brown. Anthony Marnie. Lisa Marie Westenbarger. Blake Shetler. Rihanna Marie Pearson. Andrew Staley. Courtney Sue Hartley Bradford. Matthew Benjamin Nye. Alexandra Caitlin Martin. Christopher Lawrence Rady. Estathea Anna Demopoulos. Justin Paul Outlaw. Ayana Nicole Mitsunaga. Emmanuel Moba. Caitlin Rose Janish. Dawson Tyler Karubi. Megan Nicole Thompson. Vinny Michael Bakarian. Heather Marie Fermansky. Maxwell Valen Frederick. Juliana Paranello. Matthew Aveen. Autumn Marie Horner. James Thomas Falk. Kate Marie Waldron. Tyler Kenneth Kelly. Cameron Hamiel Holt. Jeffrey Joseph Kaczynski. Perry Lauren Barnes. Dakota Edward DeRosha. Corey Alyssa Sismaniak. Jeremy Michael Johnston. Victoria Sophia Ringvaleski. Damon Morse.
Samantha Ray Anid. Tyler Labine. Miranda Mance. Michael Irwin. Naveen El Youssef. Crispin Aldridge. Nina Simone Brown. Adam Joseph Crunk. Mariah Elizabeth Arnold. Owen Michael Hund. Olivia Nicole Runavara Ingram. David Robert Rush. Amy Ann McNally. Drake Joseph Spears. Emily Lynn Ward. Devin Jarrell Dodd. Kiana Marjorie Bauer. Hunter Austin Damon. Taylor Morgan Lilla. Tristan Mishker. Diana Signorelli. Sean Gabriel Moore. Shelby Nora McHale. Michael Dorian Trimble. Tabitha Lehu. Colton Henderson. Corey Lynn Detoy. Safe Sweden. Emily Catherine Rosizi. Glenn Miller. Michaela Bell. Smoller. Brandon Mancuso. Hannah Danielle DeHater. Woo! 
Jordan Barnes. Katie Lynn Kidder. Cody Vigiletti. Taylor Rose Petrie. Cody Bruton. Kara Jeanette Howe. Jacob Matthew Gass. Lucille Rose Pugh. Logan Phillips. Krista Caitlin Marie Crucera. Justin Loftus. Madeline Page Farmer. Franciscus Antonius Van Doren. Destiny Amber Hall. Aaron Krasinski. Gwendolyn Elizabeth Cretney. Michael Francis Tucker. Shelby Lankford. Cortez Denzel Stennis. Nicole Beverly. Caleb J. Taylor. Sydney Michelle Pawzak. Dustin Harold Santhony. Brianna Kathleen DeHart. Seth Mills. Caitlin Christine DeHart. Justin Franklin Wolkhammer. Rama Hussein Wabe. Anthony Paul Ibanez. Haley Renee Bizek. David Tudosa. Trevor Michael Carnan. Chelsea Autumn Booker. (laughs) 
Reynold Vincent Powell Jr. Ryan Michael Manuel. Donovan Conlon Cunningham. Donovan. Imani Carolyn Renee Johnson. Alex William Elwell. Kayla Noel Franklin. Tyler Matthew Winslow. Sabrina Ann Mogul. Tyler Anthony Kempert. Rhiannon Alyssa Stevens. Chase Paul David Patterson. Rebecca Ashley Zoldock. Austin Tyler Hodges. Amber Christine Booza. Brendan Brandau. Hannah Marie Morrow. Sean Robert Healy. Dakota Kathleen Beach. Zachary Hunter Ball. Alyssa Marie Smith. Jose Montez. Tanasia Torlanda Horn. Robert Moyers. Alyssa Shank. Michael James Tierney. Alyssa Jade. Hurley. Dakota Ohanko McKimitas. Dana Patrice Kramer. Jason Michael Paul Matusak. Carly Ann Price. Woo! 
Brandon Sturm. Ashley Jean Tapper. Austin Sean Thompson. Jordan Allie Taylor Sawyer. Joseph Ronald Catton. Amber Nicole Swisher. Quante Jenkins. Kalidris Kalante Upshaw. Brandon Mitchum. Alyssa Marie Thompson. Quentin Chase Westbrook. Samantha Schwazing. Alec Elliott. Brandy Joe Hanover. Jacob Green. Taylor Hope Rager. Ronald Charles Matchett Jr. Sarah Kate Moore. John Travis McBain. Haley Elizabeth Jacoby. Austin Zachary Slager. Alyssa Marie Steffen. Chase Michael Folkler. Rebecca Marie Moylan. Brian Adam Brown. Miranda Lynn King. Bailey Stephen Merritt. Hunter Watson. Noah Robert Gary. Marissa Renee Letizio. Scott Jeremy Troop. Gina Marie Savastano. Kevin Michael Nelson. Sierra Renee. 
Petro. Drake Reynolds Sparks. Catherine May Spera. Chase Matthew Bodingheimer. Amber Lynn Butner. Matthew Spizak. Sydney Ryan Ivy. Cody Williams. Elizabeth Barta. Joshua Hazelwood. Imani and Ishe Turnage Wimbish. Noah James St. Aubin. Jared Austin Gothier. Emily Ann Doan. Spencer Sawa. Kyle Douglas Ladishak. Janine Marie Nash. Brendan Alexander Mellis. Sarah Elizabeth Payne. Ola Toju Kufariji. Brooke Elizabeth Calvi. Juwan Foster. Nicholas Anthony Edney. Olivia June Marie Fenton. Brandon Wayne Grace. Denzel Deshaun Tinsley. Brianna Katera Baker. William Forrest Hill. Danielle 
Paige Muscat Wendling. Austin New. Evan Richard Breen. Michelle King. Kyle Boshat. Caitlin Robinson. Connor Johnson. Samantha Pazopane. Cody DeHart. Jamie Christine Vassell. Joshan C. Sharp. Caitlin Noel Harrington. Jordan Vladimir Kuzmano. Dylan Routsaw. Heather Alisa Pennington. Anthony John Natowski. Kyle Carroly. <laughs> Gabrielle Luis Giagrande. <laughs> Lindsay Anna Mahalik. Miranda Piazza. Lauren Denise Finley. Aspen Deborah Spears. Bailey Catherine McGeorge. Brittany Lauren Boone. Cassidy Janet Marie Smith. Katie Ann Marie Saylor. Corinne Kingery. Cassandra Elizabeth Ada Lalanuski.
2016, we as educators and you as students have shared in the triumph of this monumental occasion known as graduation. All of us at Garden City High School wish you nothing but the best. Whatever path you choose, know that we want you to succeed. As graduates, you are well prepared for the challenges that will come your way. In my rendition of a quote from S. Scott Fitzgerald, know that it is never too late to be whoever you want to be. There's no time limit. Start whenever you want. Now seems pretty opportune if you ask me though. You can change or you can stay the same. There are no rules to this thing. You can make the best or worst of it. We hope you make the best of it. I hope that you see things that astonish you. I hope you feel things you have never felt before. I hope you meet people who have a different point of view and you respect them for who they are. I hope you live a life you are proud of. And if not, I hope you have the courage to start all over again. As I said at honors, I wish for you to leave here with Cougar pride. Pride in where you have come from. Pride in your education. And pride in where you are going. Congratulations to the class of 2016.